Welcome back to another tutorial guys. In this tutorial we'll talk about decreasing the value from the stock. So before that we need to create a table called transaction so that we can take the I mean entry for each transaction. So we will say transactions because if we add transaction you will go around and mess it up with the SQL, SQL's own transaction thing. So we'll add ID, integer primary key auto increment. We'll add, a, we'll say product underscore name, which is going to be text. And we'll say quantity. Okay, this is integer. Sorry. Quantity. And we'll say amount. So what else can we see? Uh, ID, product name, quantity, amount. I think that would be it. Okay. So we'll save it, close it. So again, one, once again, I need to do something here to get the price. Mm. Save so the final price. Final price is not this because we need to get the value from discount as well. So if we are giving discount, so for the formula for the discount would be like the total selling price minus discount percent of total selling price equals to the final price. So who total selling price is this one. Initial total selling price is this one. And minus the discount amount is over here. So we'll get the discount underscore E float or we can simply uh, instead of using discount percentage we can simply use discount so that will be easier like I gave you 20 rupees discount or else it's, it's it's about the formula you guys you know the formula for discounting we will just add the discount amount not the discount percentage okay discount e dot get so the final price is this one so if you're not giving discount, it becomes minus zero, so you don't have to worry about that. So there is discount. Now we need a final function called define generate bill, which does all the stuff that needs to be done. Arguments, keyboard arguments. So first we will decrease the stock. Okay, to decrease the stock we need to use a loop let's say for i in the range I mean for i in the product list we need to run this for that amount period of time so so what we can do is we need to decrease the value so we need to generate a SQL before that, we need to create self dot new stock. It is going to be the old stock that we get, which is this self dot get stock. So we'll use that self dot get stock, and uh, it's going to be get stock because it is integer minus the quantity the person bought. So the quantity is going to be self dot quantity value. Okay. Self dot quantity value int of self dot quantity value. Yes, this is the new stop. And I don't think we need to update anything else for right now. That's just it. Okay, we'll get the self dot new stop. Now we need to do the query. We'll say SQL equals to update. Sorry, inventory set. We need to set the stock equals to what? Where ID equals to what? We need to execute the command here, and it is a tuple, so update the stock equals to what? The new stock is self dot new stock, and the ID is. It's probably self dot enter. Sorry, what is the ID? It's the get ID. Yes, self dot get ID. Get ID. 
maximum dot commit where id equals to not get id okay it's not get id it's not quantity value as well okay it is products quantity for that i well, we can simply say x is to zero we can give it self dot x and uh, get stock the old stock well i think we need to do this once again okay we'll do this once again uh, initial equals to select everything from inventory where id so id equals to what c dot ok result equals to c dot execute initial and then we'll get self dot product id self dot x for our in results of dot um, old stock equals to r one is zero is the id one is the name two is the stock self dot old stock self dot old stock minus integer of self dot product quantity of that initial amount self dot get id it's not a get id it is product id of self dot x so it is going to decrease this print sorry print decreased so we need to test this gender bill to bill command equals to self dot gender bill okay so before testing let's keep a note of what are the stocks that we have so we are going to browse the data in inventory stock okay with kitkat we have 45 okay well, let's do 2 and number 4 because there's 50 and 100 2 and number 4 let's buy number 2 50 and 100 number 2 we will buy for 50 we will buy 20 at to cart so that it's not working discount e is not defined so where is it discount e127 27 okay this is a terrible mistake uh, let's run this again there won't be any problem i guess two and number four we'll buy 20 of these remaining 30 and we will buy number four there is 100 we'll buy 50 remaining 50 and we'll say generate bill did it work application object has no attribute product underscore id what is the mistake here okay it is not self mm. it is not self mm. it is not self okay so i have already seen one mistake over here which i'm going to talk about in the upcoming thing <laughs> 20 making it 30 450 making it 50 parameters are of unsupported type 184 result execute select everything from inventory where id equals to what product id okay it is a tuple Uh, it is kind of troublesome we will buy 20 of these number 4 will buy 50 of these at the card gender bill okay decreased it worked so let's see if it decreased or not we need to have 30 and 50 in 2 and 4 30 pen 50 it didn't work for pen so what is the mistake here I think I already figured it out so we haven't increase the value of x 
So we need to self dot x plus equals to one. So we will buy number two, 30, there is 15, making it 50. Number four, buying 50, sorry, making it 50, join a bill, done. Browse data inventory, pen minus 20, I don't know why it is not working. And 15, it is working for the first one, it is not working for the second one. Okay, minus 20, we'll refill it to 100. Apply, save it, pen is 100, battery, let's see if it has 100 as well. So, self for x plus equals to 1, it is getting the same value, or 2, mm, decreased, mm, okay, let's try this once again, buying 50-50 of each. 250 250 bill okay it seems to have decreased but okay 50 hundred pen is not working so it is not updating the value of x for i in products list no old stock Mm, what if we did this? What if we nested this loop? You know, like this. I think it will work because it is not looping for the first one, it is only looping for the second. But if we use it for both of them, it will loop. So, 100, 100, it should work now. Okay, number two. Quantity is 50, I'm buying 50. Number four, I'm buying 50. Add card, Janet Bill. It says decreased. Okay, it seems to be working now. 50, 50. It is working, it's decreasing the stock, it is working. Now we need to refine this everything like it is only working for the one user, for the other user, what we're going to do. These are the things that we're going to discuss in the another video thanks for watching stay tuned for my next video